Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Solization 6. So, I found a potential city location down here. I could still settle this. And it might seem like it's a pretty pointless spot to settle at this stage of the game. However, it would allow me to get trade routes with saves I cannot currently get trade routes with, which is useful for a tourism bonus. And I could also potentially recruit Rogmans directly down here instead of having to move across the entire map. So, I think that's still useful. I'm going to grab a settler and send him there. So, let's just queue one up right away after the builder. We still need three cores, so we're about to get that. There we go. That's mobilization boost. And let's keep scouting around here. Might as well use the city-states units for something useful. And I'm going to grab that wine. Here we go. And we also need one more mercury here. We can grab that. Uh, let's not fight barbarians here. I have no desire to do that. I let the city-state handle that. They already have artillery. Okay, good for them. Uh, I could send a trader out to Hong Kong, actually. Uh, pretty easily. So, Hercules is gone, how much would it cost me to get him again? Uh, I could already get him again if I want to. Uh, I might, but not just yet. I might actually get him to boast uh, this city, uh, but we'll see. Let's actually start it first, and then we can decide. So, uh, no need for a neighborhood here, but here's another spy. I could continue to spy on Lautaro, I guess. That's probably fine. Uh, where do we send him, though? Not here. Wait, which city does this district belong to? Yeah, this one. So we could go here. We could go here, to his capital. There might be a counter spy in here, but let's give it a shot anyway. And I might try to run a great work heist again. So, I don't need a few swords for a boast. I might just grab one here. Okay, yeah, let's just grab one, because I need that for a boast. Uh, four builds still. Alright, uh, let's continue the railroads then. This one can go north. Probably just through here. That's fine. Alright, the spy. First, gain sources. And then we'll try to get an easy promotion if we can. Right, I got all the cords I needed. What about this city? 13 out of 23 housing. Uh, let's remove the marsh to get some more food. Go get that mercury. And I could remove some of this rainforest. Oh yeah, this tile is about to be ours in two turns. So we can chop that and then we'll see. Uh, let's go repair the privateer. I don't want to lose it. Here's another city-state. Train AT crew. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, not right now, but a little bit later. Only five envoys. I don't necessarily need the city-state. It's nice, but not for how I'm playing right now. Hey, this looks like a valid location for a city, but loyalty pressure would be a little bit too much. In order to okay, volcano eruption. We stole a tech boost, nice. Rocketry. I'll take it. Let's see then. So next up, I guess I need cultural heritage. It's unlikely I'll be able to boost it. At least I don't think I can boost it. Maybe through an art museum? Uh, well, no, hold on. These are religious, so I can't do that. I don't think anyone heard artifacts that they were willing to sell me. I don't think so. I could try to make like free trades. Oh yeah, hold on, here are some artifacts. Classical, industrial, medieval. Okay. What do I need again? A same era from different civilizations, right. And I have what? 
ancient classical and renaissance. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can do that. What does she have? Here's classical. I had ancient classical and renaissance. Okay, so she has classical created by Chandragupta. I would have to get one more classical artifact by someone other than India or myself, right? And no, this is from Grand Colombia. Okay. Does anyone else have any artifacts? Yes. Okay. I'm not totally sure if artifacts created by barbarians would count. I think so. I'm pretty sure they would. Does anyone else have any artifacts to trade? Let's just check. Yes. Relic, relic, artifact. Okay, not classical though. So let's try with Grand Columbia here. We can trade artifact for an artifact, that's probably fine. So I need to keep the classical one. Yeah, we can trade him this. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, this is an axe, but one is created by him or they're by barbarians. Interesting. I will have to pay a little bit to make this trade. Maybe I can give him some coal. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, I don't mind giving him some coal, that's fine. So let's trade this. And then I need one more trade with England. So that's going to be what? Uh, should be somewhere in here. Oh yeah, this one. That's an artifact. And we need classical. Right here. That should work. I can give her some coal or whatever. Will she accept that? Okay, probably not. She wants gold. Seven gold for 30 turns. Well, how about some diplomatic favor? I don't mind that. No, she doesn't want that either? Okay. Uh, that's disappointing. I thought for sure she will take coal. But apparently not. Oh, she has 95 coal. Right, never mind then. Uh, she would take wine. Maybe give us some extra gold. Yeah. Okay, so that's not a bad deal actually. I'll take it. Yeah, that's acceptable. So I think this will work. Yeah, there we go. We got the boss. So that's the annoying part done. Very nice. I can try to get an art museum boss once I get one more great artist. We'll see about that. Uh, okay, Pingala is neutralized, which is a little bit annoying. I could grab one more governor here. I suppose I could get a Moksha. Maybe I will. Where would I send him though? Hold on, which cities actually have a holy side right now? I don't even remember. Obviously my capital, but Pingala is going to be here. Oh yeah, Farsalos. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could have him in Farsalos. Not that it will do me that much good, but my other two cities are converted. I need to convert them back. Okay, fine. Let's have him in Farsalos. And grab an Inquisitor, most likely. Yep, that's cheap. Might as well do it. A quick deals? No, not right now. Without the government. Right, I need this. Plus 33 gold. I don't think I'm changing anything else. I could probably do without one gold policy at this point. So I could swap triangular trade. We will swap it for tourism. But I need to wait for my next policy. So I'm keeping this. We'll change it once we get cultural heritage. That's the plan. Uh, also, I still need more archaeologists. Where can we get those? 
I think at least one city can build an archaeological museum right now. I just don't remember which exactly. <laughs> one of them. We'll see when they finish their current kills. Okay, chill. Uh, remote at the marsh. Get the mercury. Uh, wait one more turn. That tile is about to be ours. And repair the privateer. Uh, Alright, how about a mine right here? And go keep working on the railroads. So, the spy. What can we get here? Well... None of these are super useful for me right now. I guess I'll take demolitions. Okay, that's also some error score. Not that I needed it right now. I certainly did not. But here we are anyway. Alright, let's just go west. I could probably get rid of this barbarian camp, although maybe not with corsairs. Let's get on our knees. Here we got ballistics. Okay, I probably can't do it with a corsair. Let's just pack up. And next up, I could get electricity boosted pretty easily. So let's get started on that. And I have several dams. We're about to finish a colossus, so that's nice. And let's queue up a privateer after the settler. Here we go. Okay. Good. We have more wonders to build after the Colossus. A military academy can wait for the next era. No need to waste that era score boost. I'll just get a quick sewer. Actually need one in here. Yeah, library, obviously. And yeah, no need for a sewer here. Uh, this city needs to grow, and that's what it needs. I can get an aqueduct here, but let's remove the copper first, if we are going to do that. That just makes sense. Yep. Meanwhile, we can work on a deep builder. How much time do I have on these guys? Uh, 16 turns. Okay, that's a lot of time. I can still use them to explore quite a lot. All right, carry on with the railroad. So there's the Inquisitor. Let's convert our city back. And then this one. I got 1500 faith. Any useful great person coming up? Let's see. Well, the artist, but I'll get him on my own. There's no need to spend faith for that. I guess I'll keep my faith for now. Uh, I could get the engineer here, but looks like I'll get him uh, without spending faith. And this guy will actually be useful in this situation, because appeal is actually useful for me here. Alright, remove this, that will finish the sewer. And then... Uh, well, I could get a canal, that's not useless. It won't be next to an industrial zone, sadly. But I could still get it, and then I wouldn't need a harbor to get ships in Olympia. But is it really that useful? I suppose it's kind of useful for trade routes. Sort of. Okay, what the heck, let's build a canal because we can. I don't need another reason, alright? Okay, so this guy is fully promoted. Let's try a great work heist. That's 90%. Hopefully it will work. Uh, so this is out of range of Corinth. I might as well harvest it. That's 122 production. Where it's useless otherwise. Here, that will speed up the dam. And then conveniently we can get a hydroelectric dam. And obviously that I don't want a flood over there. The There's a Colossus in 1600 AD. Yeah, a bit of a delayed Colossus, but whatever, we got it. Okay, I can build the archaeological museum here, but I want to keep building the wonders in here. Because I can still get the great lighthouse. And the Torre de Balem is also a good wonder to have. I kind of want that. And unfortunately I can't get both. 
they both have to be adjacent to a harbor district. So I cannot actually get both. I could still build the great lighthouse elsewhere. So... But then I also want to be able to build Statue of Liberty here. No, I don't need Statue of Liberty. I just tend to build it to prevent the AI from getting the four diplomatic victory points. So this is kind of a tough choice. I wouldn't mind the gold here. And that's what, 18 turns? Maybe I could speed it up a little bit. The Great Lighthouse seems like a sure thing here. It would also be kind of useful for the settler I'm about to send. Because that's plus one movement. It would get there faster. Yeah, honestly, let's get the Great Lighthouse here. It's only six turns for yet another wonder works for me. I can also build the Great Zimbabwe, like right now. I wasn't even setting this up specifically for the Great Zimbabwe, it just worked out that way. If I'm going to do that, I should probably chop this forest first. So I guess I'll do that and then we can build the Great Zimbabwe. Meanwhile, we can get an aqueduct up here. And that was the plan. Alright, uh, let's move away from these barbarians, shall we? Three more builds, so yeah, probably a mine. I'm a little bit pissed I didn't get this aluminum, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, I can't do great work heist anymore. Well, let's try to steal a tag boost. I still need a tag boost, so obviously I'll try to do that. We can speed up that canal a little. Uh, repair the privateer. Uh, as for the trade route, let's see what are actual good trade routes right now. Available routes. What's like the best one here, or at least a good one? Sixteen gold, twenty gold, nineteen. Okay. Uh, there are quite a few good ones. Anything better than plus twenty? Uh, 24, okay. Oh, from here, all right. Interesting. I don't think I can send a trade out. Oh wait, hold on, I can send one to England. And this is a pretty good one too. Yeah, we should do that. So from Argos? Uh, where the heck is that? Oh yeah, right here. Uh, that's where we are, literally. What are our current trade routes? Okay, we have one with India, with Gran Colombia, and with Mapuche. So we definitely want uh, the one with England. Yep, sure, let's do that. So, England... Right here. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Off you go. I can't buy this, it's too far away. Uh, four more builds on this guy. Uh, I can, however, remove this forest here. Uh, or get a lumber build. I thought this is a hill, but it's not. Alright, we got the Mercury. Let's see. Uh, let's get some production for Olympia. Uh, convert our other city here. Uh, yep, repair this. Two more builds. Okay, where are some other bonus resources? And uh, that way I can get uh, some more culture and tourism. We have a bunch. Uh, first, let's improve this cattle, because this has been unimproved for a very, very long time. And the both of the cities can work that. Here you go. Better late than never, right? Alright, there's the settler. I guess I'll give him an escort, just in case I'll need it. So there you go, and then a privateer. The vampire can stay in here. 
All right, what's next? I don't think I need the water park here. I could still use a neighborhood in my capital, and we could have a plus six instead of that fort. So probably a good idea, to be honest. This city is still growing really nicely, as you can see. So one more neighborhood is definitely useful, especially when I can get one so quickly. 27 turns is a bit too much, but I don't need Crystal Redentor. What exactly do we need for that? Uh, right, must be built on hills. Can I get that in my capital? Yes, I can. Yeah, we should do that, like, definitely. Uh, but I do want that neighborhood really quick. So let's grab the neighborhood, and then we'll build Crystal Redentor. My capital will do it the fastest. 9 out of 19 housing. Okay then. I can't build districts just yet, I need 10 population. Okay, this will not be very quick, unless I get more food. I could grab some tiles with food. So this one. Okay, 17 turns is not great, but it's better. But now Sparta will struggle. Let's grab this. Okay, that's better. This city will be fine. Okay, 17 turns is not very fast, but it's faster than it was previously. Might as well do that. Let's just run campus research grants in here. Get the city state back. We got how many envoys? 11. Right. I can sell the Mercury. That's good enough. So, this is in range, that can be a mine. Uh, let's continue the railroads here. We'll connect everything. And uh, next up we can remove this forest here and then build the Green Zimbabwe over there. Oh, uh, hold on, I didn't repair the tile. Convert Miletos. Oh, maybe I can capture that builder over there. Uh, yeah, perhaps. Unless I get killed first. Is he close enough? Yes, he is, I think. Yep, nice. We got a builder with two builds. Why not? I won't say no to a free builder. Alright, let's go. We almost got the Great Lighthouse now. Uh, Alright, where are some bonus resources? Uh, this is a good spot, right here. Yep, uh, this guy can handle it. Where else? We can get some lumber mills still. Uh, this is in range, so improve that. Yep. Connect on their city. So, right, I can get an improvement here, but it's only going to be plus one because there's no bonus resource adjacent to it. I think we're better off with either a monastery or a forest. I don't think Corinth needs housing all that much, and it could certainly use more production, so I'm going to plant a forest here and get a lumber mill. Uh, whoops, wrong move. Chop that. Yeah, he needs to be here. Carry on. Now it will take a while to get a settler here, but this is going to be useful still. It will definitely be useful. Uh, let's make sure we still have open borders here. No, we don't. Now we do. I think I can get one with Lautaro. Yep. Here you go, buddy. Here's the great artist. We're obviously getting him. And I'll try to get a theming bonus if I can, but no promises that I'll be able to. It depends what we get out of him. Okay, and now we can build Crystal Redentor. That's only 10 turns. Here you go. That's pretty fast. And the trade route. Okay, I can send this one to Hong Kong, although that might not be worth it. What was the previous trade route here? 
uh, Gran Colombia, I think, because we don't have one active at the moment. Yeah, this is Lautaro. Yeah, Gran Colombia. So what's the best one with him? 21, 26. Okay, this is a good one. There you go. Broadway, 24. All right, we just finished the dam. Amenities are mostly fine. Oh yeah, let's get the broadcast tower. Also, I never popped the musician. Whoops. My bad. I will pop him once the great artist is done. <laughs> He's taking up the space. All right, we don't want seaside resorts. I would like to wait for the next era first, because I'm wasting era score, but we don't know how long that's going to take. So I'm not going to wait that long, we'll just grab it right away. There's no time to wait. And I should be able to get a few more of those, actually. I need to look around. Oh, I thought this was within my borders, but it's not. Right. Never mind then. So, lumber mill over here. And just get a few more farms. Chop this. There. Another railroad. Do some repairs. Privateer is repaired. And we're waiting for the other one to get electricity boost. And let's just send that builder back. I'm going to escort him. And because there are some barbarians in the area. How much time do we have? Uh, 12 turns. That should be enough to get to safety. I might also keep the Inquisitor in Melitos. Fate looks good. I'm keeping the Fate for something more useful right now. Uh, here's even more Arascore I don't need. And now we can pick up Heritage Tourism. Is like a tree without roots. So let's do that. I guess I can afford to drop Triangular Trade. I could also drop Aesthetics, plus 13 culture is not a big deal anymore. No, it's not. So let's get Heritage Tourism instead. Here. That will do. I'm keeping everything else. I think. Yep. Okay, there you go. What's next? Ideology. And the Great Engineer. Okay, I definitely want this guy. And he will have extra charges. Okay, this is getting a little bit crowded. <laughs> Too many great people in here. Okay, he has two charges. I need to think about which exact city I want to use him in. There are a few options. Could I get another national park if I use him somewhere? I might be able to. I'm not sure, though. I might be able to. Hold on. <laughs> this would be a valid national park, almost. But this stall doesn't belong to me, and it's all mountains. This is already a national park. I need the tiles to be within my borders. This area looks like it might be able to make it somehow. So I guess I could use him once in Olympia. That's going to be useful regardless. If only for seaside resorts. And then again, these tiles on the coast are already breathtaking. Doesn't seem like a very good idea to use him in Argos. It has pretty bad appeal. So, I don't know, it's a tough one. I'll have to think about this. I suppose I could die in Olympia, it just seems a little bit unnecessary. Let me check again. And yeah, I already have industry right here, so I will not be removing this. Farcelos would be useful if it had slightly more appeal. Miletos might still be useful. Yep, 
Yeah, okay, I'm not sure. I really need to think about this one. Farsalos might be good, though. That should turn this style into breathtaking. Then I could have a seaside resort over here. So that's one option. It will not enable another national park. I don't see anywhere where I could build a national park uh, that doesn't already have one. Maybe in Corinth if I remove a bunch of improvements, but I cannot remove a vampire castle. So that's a problem. It will not turn uh, this cattle into a breathtaking tile. That's not happening. I have a bunch of wonders here. Now this area looks like it would be kind of doable, but I don't think all these tiles belong to the same city. And I can't swap them because they are out of range. So I don't think that would work. It's kind of a tough one. I can also use it to get a better spot for a neighborhood. So that's another use for this guy. Alright, I'm going to pop him in Farsalos once. And then we'll see for the other build. Alright, what do we do here? I think I might just run Campus Research Grant one or two more times. Let me get uh, some units. Do I need any for actual boasts? I don't think so. Well, biplanes, but I can't get that right now. Uh, I guess I'll need some armies and armadas. So I could do that. But I can't get crossbowmen anymore. I have some pike and shorts around here. A lot of my units are very outdated, but I don't plan going to war. Which is why I haven't upgraded them. There's just no need. I suppose I can get a few pike and shot. Or I can still get uh, field cannons and then merge them with upgraded crossbowmen. Uh, that works, okay. That works. So that took a while. I can still get some heroes, but these are mostly like for war. I don't think any of them would be particularly useful for me right now. Yeah, no, not really. I could still get one, it's just not very useful. It would only be useful if somebody declared war on me. Then I might consider it. But right now, there's no need. Uh, Alright, let's see. We can get some districts here. I don't need an aerodrome somewhere, but definitely not here. Uh, Acropolis. Oh yeah, let's repair this really quick. And I was considering an aqueduct right here, so I guess I could still do that. We could get a water park. I don't need a water park right now, but I'm getting a lot of amenities from policies. If I get more amenities without the policies, uh, I could get something else instead. I will need the policy slots anyway, for more tourism policies. Alright, that's another railroad. Uh, so now we will be removing this. And placing uh, the Great Zimbabwe over there. More production. More food. Yeah, I might as well build the railroad through here as well. There's no reason not to. You guys keep exploring. Alright, there's the spy. Uh, okay, I need to gain sources here. That's a new city, right? A different spy. We're about to get electricity. It's about to get boosted. If you Good timing, perfect timing. There we go. Sources gained, nice. So this is also a new spy. We could try to do something easy, again, to get him promoted. And then, depending on what promotion he gets, we can do something that's actually useful. So let's go for the 84% here, to maximize the chance of getting that promotion. And then we'll see what we can do next. Alright, there's the privateer. Might as well merge it with the other one. More farms. Uh, okay, I will need computers to get some flood barriers, especially since I have Valletta. 
So I can just fade by flood barriers, no problem. So let's use this guy in Farsalos. There we go. So this should be breathtaking now. Uh, no, it's not. I think I might have to wait one turn. What else? Uh, this city has almost all the improvements I can get for it now. Yep. I can still buy this hill over here. I suppose we can do that. Alright, I use the artist, then we can use the musician. There we go, nice. A trade route. Okay, I don't need two trade routes with Lautaro. So let's keep this one. I don't think I can get a trade route with anyone new right now. I would have to wait for my new city. Yeah, we already have one with England. So I would have to wait for my new city. I suppose I can get that envoy with Hong Kong. By sending a trade route to Hong Kong. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's get that. I might still get allied with that. We'll see. So, finish the aqueduct and then we can try to build the Great Zimbabwe. 19 turns isn't even that bad. Considering this is nowhere close to my best cities. Oh, hold on, it's losing food. Okay, let's swap things around a little. Now, I don't want to reduce production in other cities too much. But obviously I need a decent tile here. Okay, that looks good. 17 turns. I can also speed it up by chopping this forest right here. Uh, so maybe I'll do that. That's actually not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. Just send someone to take care of that. Uh, this guy has one build left. Uh, this guy can go. Yep. Uh, however, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.